Well, of course, Priti Patel's Home Secretary has been hyping up the Nationality and Borders Bill to stop the record levels of illegal migration we're seeing across from France on small boats. And we saw, of course, the Lords uh, rip the Borders Bill apart. But MPs, and um, with a surprisingly small Tory rebellion that had been overhyped a bit, uh, we saw MPs basically remove the Lords amendments with hardly any Conservative MPs rebelling. But this now continues. And the House of Lords, and let's not forget, I mean, one of the most farcical stats when it comes to the unelected Lords is that there are 83 Lib Dems in there. I mean, get your head around that. It really does say it all. But of course, we recently saw reports, I talked about this yesterday, of potentially offshore processing in Rwanda for those uh, coming across on small boats. And so you now have a situation where peers again now are seeking to intervene with an amendment to the Nationality and Borders Bill, which would allow a veto on this potential offshore processing. Oh, and by the way, before I do get going on this, let's just remind ourselves again that despite some of the media trying to ignore this fact, there is overwhelming British public support for far tougher measures when it comes to tackling illegal migration, as you can see from those numbers uh, from YouGov. And yeah, so yet again, we've got Lords with amendments being passed. Uh, for instance, an amendment seeking to remove a provision making it a criminal offence to knowingly arrive in the UK without permission. Needless to say, uh, Conservative sources not very happy with the Lords again here, accusing it of being Brexit territory, saying it's time the hands of an elected government, saying the British people have said they want their government to do X, Y and Z. We saw it over Brexit and we're seeing it again now. Another Tory source saying uh, these unelected peers try trying to tie an elected government's hands in negotiation. We saw it with Brexit and we saw it again now. Well, look, we've had sort of whinging and, and briefing about the Lords before. The fact is the government have got a big majority, a big pro-Brexit majority. The British public gave them. What are they going to do about this? I mean, I guess in the short term, they could pack the Lords uh, full of Brexiteers. Longer term, surely, this system is not in any way sustainable. It should be elected, surely, by proportional representation. We should be looking, given that there's a Scottish Parliament, a Welsh Parliament, a Northern Ireland Assembly, uh, an English Parliament. But you're seeing it again here. Frustration from Conservatives with the way the unelected Lords are behaving. But yeah, whinging only gets so far. What are the government going to do about this? As ever, I will keep bringing you the very latest on this and more, guys. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, thanks for watching.